Again, we are live on Facebook and YouTube. So just go to uh, YouTube and look for Buster's Billiards. And while you're there, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Let's get some subscribers on our YouTube page. I keep forgetting to say that. And uh, we only have like 100 viewers or subscribers. So... I'm going to finish sharing out the stream here. Everyone, please sh share the stream. Let's get it out there. Most of the players are down in uh, Philadelphia this weekend at the Super Billiard Expo. Wish luck to everyone down there. I think the women uh, already won the... Uh, female scotch doubles event the other day they had a nice little trophy that they earned all right i shared as many places as i can hopefully you guys do the same get some viewers Every week there's a different issue. Mr. Zendraken, what's going on, brother? How are you, my friend? Always, always good to see you, my friend. So they're going to be playing eight ball race to seven the first set. I don't think they're going to be able to do race to seven, but they're going to do the first set race to seven and see what the time frame is. They told me they shoot pretty quick. But history tells me race to five and eight ball. If you're going to each win a set and have a chance for a third set. But we'll see. This is Tracy McGrath. And her husband, Nate. Wait a minute. Tiffany Bacon was just shooting. She's our partners with Walter. Brew is in the house. How you doing, Mark? From California, yay. I used to be on a team with Walter. I know he shoots pretty strong. I don't know any of the other players, so I really can't tell you how they shoot. It was weird. I came in tonight, and uh, Wirecast told me I was unlicensed. And I sure did pay $1,000 for this program. <laughs> I think I'm licensed for it. We had a great event last weekend. Um, I redistributed all the matches. I broke them down into individual matches for the JP New Tour, the women's, and uh, separated out all the matches and reposted them on JP Newt's site as well as YouTube. Uh, there's a playlist there. You, know, you can also go on YouTube and look under Buster's Billiards. And somewhere on that page, there's a legacy um, link. You know, it's a link to over 700 matches that we've recorded from the Tap League. A, a lot of people, there's a, quite a few um, memorial or tribute uh, playlists 
for our friends that are no longer with us that I was able to create. So feel free to go check that out on your off time. Like I said, there's uh, 700 matches up there. As well as all the Friday night fights and tournaments that we've done here at Buster's. Please like, share, subscribe on YouTube and Facebook. Let's get our subscription base up on YouTube. Uh, there's a ball in hand foul. So that five ball is a problem. I don't know why they wouldn't shoot the five. That's their problem ball. I don't know the rankings of the players. Uh, that's why I didn't put any Fargo numbers up because I don't know any of the players. I'm not sure what they are. Um... Give me a second, I'll go find out. Walter's shooting right now. Hey, Walter. Do you know the level of the players? Are they APA 5, 6s? Eight or 6, 8, 6. 6? So they're a mix of 6s, 5s, and 1, 4. Um, Walter's partner, Tiffany, is a 4. Uh, Nate is a six, Walter's a five, and uh, Tracy is a five in the APA. I just got that information from Walter. I don't think they have Fargo ratings. I don't think they do Fargo tournaments. Yeah, last week was a great weekend. A long weekend. We recorded like, I don't know, 16, 17 hours of video. A lot of matches. But I broke them all out for you guys because I'm that kind of guy. Cross bank, double, double rail. All the way up. You know, the tell kind of players right there. That's a great shot. Did not have my instant replay on. I do now. Oh, wrong ball. I'm to rattle the cue. Not the that's fifteen. You're welcome, Mark. Anything for the viewers? I used to play on that team uh, that Walt's wearing the shirt for. I can't remember what the name of the team is. I have that exact shirt, but I don't remember what it says. So, going to the rail and out for the eight. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Huh? Give him a shot. All you gotta do is tap it. Fifteen, twelve takes it to. I mean, the uh, twelve will take it to the eight. It's gonna make the fifteen. Float it in. I think it says mean people suck. No, that's not what it says. We don't suck. Something to suck. I can't remember. You have to either go two rails to get to this eight or. Go right across, see what happens. Get over there, come on. Nice shot. I liked a little bit more, but that's doable. Guys, like and share. Let's get some viewership going. Nine viewers, let's go. Pump it up. Ooh, floated that one in. All right, they take first blood. Don't suck. That's the that's what the name of the team is. You guys know that I own the shirt. I was on the team. I just don't remember. Guys, don't forget Busters has the Junior League here. Our next session will be. Next Sunday, the 21st, 9 a.m. in the morning to 11 a.m. We do an hour of instruction and then an hour of play. And then coming up, I believe the following weekend is going to be the main junior championship at the new Forest City Billiards, which used to be American Pool and Billiards in Portland, Maine. That's on April 27th. It just took that room over. I didn't hear that that event was canceled, so I assume it's going to happen under the new regime. City Merchant, how are you? Anyone down at the expo? You guys want to see the cutest thing in the world? And she just joined our junior league. Usually we do ages 6 to 17. But in this case, we have this young little lady who's so excited to play pool. It's unbelievable. I'm going to give you guys a glimpse of her. In a second here. She walks around with a little stool. And shoots pool. She's five years old. Her name's Ella. And she is a fanatic for pool. Takes a little ladder with her. Her cue. And goes and shoots balls. We started uh, teaching her, you know, just hitting the center of the ball and starting to get some type of um, muscle memory in, in a stroking. She stands on her stool so she doesn't have to sidearm. And she is just unbelievably excited about playing pool. She posted some video online how her dad did. And uh, she was practicing exactly what we went over last week. And she was doing well. So really excited to have her in the group. See what she does. I think she's going to be one of those uh, next generation superstars as she keeps it up. Because she's so excited about it. But back to this match. Sorry about that. Just had to bring that up.
Actually, Tiffany left Walter. Cut the floor. I think I would have played the 7 into the 10 and tried to make the 7, but if not, own the pocket. Versus taking that 4. Yeah, that's one of those instances where you've got to watch where that second ball is going in a combination. Because you want to hit that a little bit easier and leave that ball laying right by the corner. And now it's tied up the 8, and the 13 is tougher to make. Wait, that's seven? Maybe you can get on the four? Well, that, that's not the four, that's the eight. Missed that 15. And a little bit more, she would add the three up in the, well, he would add the three in the corner. Just like an inch. Would add the three up in the corner, but. what he's got right now. He's playing the safe, getting the ball up table. Mark Pulsifer. Holy God, I haven't seen that name in a long time. How you doing, my friend? How's things out in Rumfield? Speaking of Rumfield, I get to call Jason. I haven't talked to Jason in quite a while. See how he's doing. Make that three. Set up for the two. Seeing the three in the side. No, I'm getting the corner. I mean, I thought she was shooting in the side. In the angle, she was coming at it. Try back cutting that 13. Yeah, I would have liked playing safe there, I think. Would have came off the 14, tried to put the cue ball underneath the 15. Make him bank or kick at the 3. A little thin on the left side of this three and try to come up between the uh, 11 and 13 for that four ball. I'm just going to try cutting the four all the way down. Wow. <laughs> all right, so we know what she's bringing to the table. Meat cleaver in hand. Good. Nice shot that was. Clear that 11. Clear the 11. Nice shot. I wish you can see the 8. In the corner. Make this and it'll tie it up. A shot, one apiece. All right, one apiece. It's a race to seven.
Guys, make sure you're checking out the PA Pro-Am Pool live stream at the uh, Super Billiard Expo this weekend. Frank Maietti's down there running the Kamui booth, running action matches uh, all weekend long out of the Kamui booth, as well as uh, Mike DeMarco's running Ship the Cash, uh, running some big money matches out of that place. I watched a match last night with uh, Russian Kenny and uh, Guma. And Russian Kenny won, and he had a stack of bills. I mean, a big stack. It must have been uh, five five or six inches high. And I'm not kidding you. And I'm sure there were hundreds. I think they played for like 10000 or something. Play for stupid money at the Super Billiard Expo. So if you want to get in to watch some really great matches... Go ahead and tune in to Ship the Cash for their live uh, action table that Mike's DeMarco's running at the Super Billiard Expo. There's also a Q and K storage he's running also there. So if you're at the Expo and you need to store your Q or case, you can pick it up multiple times and drop off multiple times. I forget how much it is. To store it for the weekend, I think sixty bucks for the weekend or something. It's cheap to not have to walk around with your queue all day long and get quite heavy and monotonous. Jim Tochio, how are you, sir? Matt Kraus? Walter's hitting him fat. Making a mess down there. All right, five. Not they rearranged the geography quite well. Got to play that 10. Just play it safe into the 10. So then you can hit. When Bill Lobo, what am I talking about? All right, they're off to the races now. Let's put that ball out of there. That's good. Make the 11. With a 10, a little bit of draw. Come back for that, uh, is it the 15 in the middle of the table there? Does that go between them? Yes, it does. I think the 15 will go right between the 2 and the 8 in the corner. Go to the rail and come out for the 14 all the way up.
Make sure what. Can you see the seven? Must be able to see the seven. Got the four. Setting them open for that 14. Let's roll forward a little bit and they'll have the 15. I think they can come around two rows to the eight in the same pocket. Cut to 15, come back out between the two and the rail, you know, the eight in the same pocket. Six all the way up. Nice shot. Do you need a ball pocketer? Here's some good shots. I'm just going to slight bump off the rail and come out. I think the eight in the side is what they're going for. Nope, eight in the corner. John Martin, how are you, sir? All righty. Two to one. Nice shooting, guys. Guys, when you get to Super Billiard Expo this week, and go check out CR12 Qs, Clayton Rocha, 781-838-0117. It's got the hottest Qs in the Northeast. Go check them out at the Super Billiard Expo this weekend down in Philadelphia. Yay. And also check out Frank Maietti. And, of course, Bobby Hilton, the Shark Stream. All the great things him and... Uh, Joe Raccio Doan and Bobby Hilton. They got a great matchup coming up soon. May 13th, Mike DeShane versus Efren Reyes. It's a nine ball race to nine. That's two out of three sets. It's going to be a great matchup. Um, get in touch with Bobby Hilton for tickets. They got VIP seating and general admission seating. The uh, venue will not be open to the public at this at that time. You have to have tickets to get into the event. Mike would be playing the GOAT. Um, last time he played the GOAT, I had the privilege of uh, filming Efren and Mike both at um, Portland um, Billiards. I can never remember the name of that place. Portland Barn Billiards, as well as TJ's up in Waterville. I filmed both places. Mike won one set. I think he won the set at um, TJ's, and Efren won the set in Portland Billiards. American Pool and Billiards. That's it. Thanks, Charles. American Pool and Billiards, which is now Forest City Billiards. Tyler Trepenia, I believe it's his name. Tyler? 
or Ty Tyson Trepenia. They bought that. Like in the last two weeks. In the drink. Tyson Trepenia. Good thing I got Charles watching. He's my corrector. Thanks, Charles. Oh, he's wearing the sweatshirt for it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it's been a rough day. Nice shot. Give that an instant replay. Yeah, Nate's wearing the American Pool and Billiards uh, sweatshirt. It's too funny. I didn't even notice. Teen all the way up. It's going to own that pocket. We don't have any shots. I mean, that's six ball. That's about it. Cut the six. Come back up table for the four. Dead ball, as they say in the tap league. I think that ball kind of snookered themselves. Oh, he's got the he's he's got the nine ball. He can make the nine fifteen combo. Gay Briggs, how are you, sir? I'm going to just roll forward here and play the eight in the side. She's going to draw back for the eight in the corner. She's just going to try to play it right there on the side. She's kind of stabbed at that one. Raise right, a chance. Play that five ball, six. Everything goes, they just gotta connect the dots. Ryan Richardson, how are you, sir? We would have liked a little bit more of an angle on that six to get up table, but it should be okay. Leave anything easy on the nine. You can really play a safe. I mean, he's got so many balls on the table. Gotta just kind of go for it. Just gonna bank it. Going for the bank. Wow. Great shot by Nate. Makes the bank with authority. Great shot. He's a nice shot on the eight. It's going to be 2-2 two -two if he makes this eight. Mm 
I feel like she was kind of too thin there. She went with that angle. She realized that, so she's like, oh, I'm just going to get the bridge. Nice shot. They tie it up to a piece. To race the seven. Guys, if you're a contractor and you're in the area and you need a little uh, sealant on your foundation, get a little Russ Holmes. Let's see what he can offer you for services. Go ahead and scan that QR code in the bottom corner of your screen or give him a call at 603 241 2282. If you got a golden retriever looking for a little TLC, Missy Garland, CPR pet first aid certified, 20 years experience, fully insured, right here in Rochester, New Hampshire, 603-509-8850, or email them at goldenleaf603 at gmail.com. Tonight, if you just join us, you are watching Walter Barstow and Tiffany Bacon versus Nate and Tracy McGrath. It's a race to seven in eight ball. Dry as a bone. Nothing. Nothing but noise. Stripes look pretty good. That 10 ball by the 8 is a little weird, but if you clear the 14, you'll have a pocket for it. Just want to draw that ball back. I don't think the 12 goes in the side. Start playing the combo. Left almost flat on that 13. I mean, you never want to get in poolers. You never want to get flat on a ball. That's actually the 9. You have nowhere to go. You got to play the 10, 13 all the way up to go. By the 14, it must. On the side. Join the six. Set fifteen on the side, followed by the fourteen. Maybe the eleven. Let's we'll see here what happens.
Let's try. Fourteen ball. I think they can see the fourteen. Set them up for that. Uh, Fifteen. Is that the twelve? I think it's the twelve. Up there by the third diamond. Yeah, the twelve ball. Let's try. Let me open them up for the five. Thinking. Come back across and play the four six combo. It's not falling. About a half a pocket up there by that 11. With the 11 up there, but shooting the 12 right between the goal posts. Let's try. Slow roll the three. Yeah, let the cue ball run here. Play a seven to the side, go all the way up the table and come back down for the six. How do you hit it? Really good. That was a good shot. Slow roll the six and have the eight all the way up. Must pass the 13, go back there in the corner. Is it, didn't either, it didn't go by the 13 or just hit it bad? You know what you're gonna do here? Safe. <laughs> Play is safe. Send the ten ball up table. Put the cue ball over on the side rail behind the eleven. Make them kicking at the eight. Could call a ten ball bank back down here in the bottom left. I think the main thing is to get the safe. Made the one rail kick off the eight or two rail even more difficult putting the ten in the path. Oh, she can see it between the thirteen and twelve. No, she can't hit it. All right, they gotta get out here. Ball on the side, play the 10, follow up the 11. They get the angle off the 11 to get down for the 13.
Pull forward a couple inches. Don't want to get flat on that 11. Get it off the rail. Yep. Top English. Head right down the table for that 13. A nice shot, cut it all the way up. Nope. Playing it safe, just put the cue ball on the top rail, put the 11 close to the corner pocket. I'm going to leave that cue ball on the bottom rail. It's going to leave a mark. All right, three, two. Contrary leaving that cube on that top rail in that shot. Guys, check out this event coming up in uh, PA Pro Am Pool at Bluegrass Billiards in Philadelphia, April 20th and 21st. It's the week right after the expo. $5.99 and under championship at Frank Maietti's place. So check out PA Pro Am Pool. More information on that. And also check out Integrity Cues, Kevin Steyer. Because Q consignments, he's at the expo as well. I right, made a ball on the break. Two balls on the break. Three balls on the break. Three down on the break. And an open table. I'll try that. 13. And it's still open. What do you like better here? Got to play the six. Unless the 10 goes. What? Get an angle off the seven and get up table. Try to get on that two ball. Just kind of punch it off the rail, center ball. Clear the 14. Get good on the two. Let's try. Nine ball. No. So nine doesn't pass the ten. That shot does that so many times.
Rob Mooney, how's Lucy? Jason CV, how are you, sir? The Junior League is next week. I mean, tomorrow will be Saturday, Stacy. Junior League's never on Saturday. It's on Sunday. But it's next week. Nice shot. Yeah, 421 is the next junior session. Goosen has to get it out of there. Goosen means rattle. Banks are open. I see a bank on the five here. I'm just going to play a safe roll. Roll into the five. Push it to the end rail. Leave the cue ball right on the top rail. Or well, bottom rail in this case. Now we call the bank. All right, well, you own that pocket. This. Trying to nine cross corner. Ooh, close. Then that, then that five ball come right down the table for the eight. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Make this eight and tie it up. Nope. A lot of blue.
You did call it back in the corner. Nice shot. Get off the rail. Nice shot by Tracy. The right angle to come down table to get on the eight. Just got to make 13. Perfect. All right, eating the side. All right, five two. It's a race seven. Shane Fleming, what's going on, buddy? Jenny, how are you, sweetheart? Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> All right, five two, race to seven. Need a ball on the break. Low balls look pretty good, too. That seven's a problem, but it has options. Four. Well, it's still open. First on this two. He could go right into the twelve. He wants to take stripes. And the combo, nice shot. Get a shot on that six and get the cue ball out of there. If you can play it thin and just come back across and try to get the middle of the table, get on that seven. I believe the seven will go on the side. A little bit more gas. I want to get right between that 14 and 8. Back up that one. And on the side. Wow.
That's crazy. See that ball went right in the hole and right out. Wow, nice shot. Almost made a tufa. But did they make they did make the tufa. They made the thirteen too. Look at the fourteen all the way up? No, the fifteen's in the way. Side pocket. Nice shot. Just slid right in the side there. Play that one all the way up. Pocket was huge with that 15 there. I don't think the four passes the uh, 15, though. No, she shouldn't like it does. Let's just slide right by there. Fifteen and fifteen. Ball wheel. Nine will go on the side. Nice shot. Nine will go on the side and set him up for the eight. And then we'll put him on the hill. Slight draw. All right, they are on the hill, 6-2 for the first set. John Shiner, what's going on? Speaking of John Shiner, next week you'll be shining. You versus Julio. That's next Friday night fight. It's going to be John Shiner versus Julio. Uh, I'm not sure what format and what races you're playing. I guess eight ball races seven. If it's different, let me know so I can change the format on the flyer. But that's next week's Friday night fight. This week is Walter Barstow and Tiffany Bacon versus Nate Mc and Tracy McGrath. 
It is 6-2. They are on the hill in the first set. Nate and Tracy. Playing nine ball race to seven? Okay. I will change the flyer. Good to see you. Um, Jason Benway is going to be here, I was told. So if anyone wants to match up, anyone plays one pocket. Jason is a huge fan of one pocket and would love to play somebody or play anybody in anything if they want to match up and play a game. He will be here next Friday night with John looking for a matchup. It's Jason Benway. You can look him up on uh, FargoRate.com to get his Fargo. I think he's a high 500. You know, I'm looking to play some cheap sets. Get a hold of me or get a hold of Jason directly. We'll set it up for next Friday. to the nine. I believe that goes by there. No, oh, I guess it doesn't. She's going to play the 11. Well, didn't leave him much. I don't know if that... A three might go in the side off the four. Four balls f farther enough down in the side pocket. Makes that pocket big. Put a nine ball all the way up. Oh, what's that eight? <laughs> all right, wide open table. Bump the six down. Not good. You pay attention when that ball goes. Get the seven on the side. Should set him up for the six. Slow roll the six, you have the five. You get the one on the side. You get to play the three in the side or all the way back up in the corner. Nice shot. Backside of the eight. I like it. But nice shot, but he didn't leave himself on the one.
Ooh, nice try on that kick. Ball in hand. This could be bad for them. I mean, they're on the hill. All the balls are right there by that corner pocket. Just boom, 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 boom. In the combo. Yep. Nice. Boom. Seen straight in. You got to play the 13 now. Don't get jacked up behind the 10, though. They did. Get jacked up behind the 10. Combo here. Yeah, like that. Let him back to the table. A thin cut here all the way down the rail. It's makeable, but. Nice shot. She called, she called the 14. Nine all the way up. Be a pretty, another pretty shot. And you come back across with a 10. You might just play it safe, put the cube on the 88. Exactly what he did. Forcing the kick. The kick this one rail. He's gonna have to go off the long rail into that one. Wow, just missed it. They're going to be all she wrote on that one. Oh, what happened there? Oh. My finger hit it as I drove, as I slid across the table. Damn it. I just float the nine in, you get the eight, and uh, we'll have the first set. Whoa. He missed it. Oh, you, I'm going rail first here into that one. Come right around the table for the eight. All right, slice the eight. 
So we'll give him the first set. Ooh. All right, we got a Christmas present here, guys. Cut that one in, come back cross table for the eight in the same pocket. All right, six three. Coming back. We're coming back. Guys, you need a Q repair. Check out Steve Terry and Terry and Q's 3571 It's got a box right here in Busters. You can drop off your Q. Anything you want done to it, uh, tip, cleaning, uh, dents pulled, anything you need, or need a jump cue made, get hold of Steve Terry and Terry and Q 603-973-3571. Hook you up. All right, they're breaking 6-3. Dry break. It was six. Oh boy. Oh, this is ugly. Yeah, she jacked up. That's a four ball. I don't see anything else. Could play the the nine three combo because it is an open table, I believe. Put it nine three. Nice try. Still open. No, oh, two on the side. Still open. Still open. Three in the corner. No, I shoot the ten. I believe it's still open. Not anymore. Yeah, it was open table. It was 15 balls on the table. Alright. Let's so cut that 15. Now he's banking the 14. They shot Walt. Banks the 14. Shot on the nine. Now you gotta play it safe here and just leave the cube on the bottom rail. But you can cut that eleven.
bit too long all the way up. I think they got to play the 15 here. You arrange the real estate a little bit more. Seven all the way up. Put that eleven. We break out that 13. A little harder, you would have broken it out. What am I going to do here? You know, banked 15 back in the corner. It goes. It's got a nice little window between that 5 and 8. Ooh! Almost. Julio, are you going to be on next week, buddy? Hey, do you have any uh, pictures of you down on the table shooting pool? I had to dig around forever on your site to find a picture, and it wasn't a great picture, but there's your flyer for next week that I was able to put together. If you have any, any other pictures you can send me, that would be great. John, I got a few pictures of yours, so should be good. Doug Neo, Neo Biddy, how are you, sir? Guys, share the stream. Kareem, how's it going, buddy? Are you down in Philly? At the Super Billiard Expo? I just thin that 15, try to get back down the table, get on that 12. Be nice to hit that thirteen and bump it. Ball in hand. Well, let's see if they can get out here. Capitalizing their mistakes. Three in the side. Junk rail. Got the seven. Cut the seven. Come back cross table. Put 
The one to come across the table. Nice shot. A little hard, but should be okay. Get the two. I believe the eight will go on the side or in the corner. Punch it up the table a little bit. You can play the six and just draw back. You have the eight in the corner. Make them a Christmas present. Both the twelve in the corner, the thirteen goes on the side. Whoa, all the way up. So let's see what they can do. See if they can get on the, another one on the board. Get this a little closer. Maybe the 13 will go on the side. the horn. If we can get him up. 6-4. Alright, 6-4. Yeah, climbing the hill. I'm gonna make this a ball game. See a hill hill. Six four. Guys, don't forget to check out the new, uh, it's finally open, Capital City Billiards, 219 Fisherville Road in Concord, New Hampshire. Jeff Burnham's new place, he's got that place, and he's got Strokers in Pelham, New Hampshire. Um, both rooms are hot and going. And then this weekend, I believe there's a big tournament up at Winnie's Bar and Grill. I believe it starts tomorrow. It's a two-day event. Make sure you check that out. In uh, Winnie's is in uh, up by Laconia. But where's up by Where's Beach? I'm trying to remember the town they're in. I can't remember. All right, six four. Two more to tie it up. Make it a hill hill. Their problem ball is a 12 ball by the three. Can you get that thing out of there? There's no pocket. Uh -oh. Got to play the 14 here. Play it safe. Leave the cue ball back down here on the short rail. I'm going to put the 14 in the path of the 7 so they can't cut it up in the corner. Guilford, that's what it is. What a shot. He made some good shots tonight. That was a great one. She's definitely coming to play. I was going to shoot that two ball. Shoot the three. Make sure you watch out for the double hit. Yeah, he's going to shoot from the, away from it. He overcut it.
Let's shoot the 14, but shoot, shoot the 9 all the way up. Dead ball. APA special. All right, one ball. Just kind of draw back. You have this two ball in the same pocket. Kind of push it forward. Be able to make the two ball. Stealing the ball. Steering the ball. Steering the ball. Ooh, nice try on the cross bank. Two ball or two ball? Problem is what's going to have next. Shoot the six. The six go between the four and the three. No rail on hand. You need a rail after it's a ball in hand. Tim all the way up. Six in the side, three in the corner. Twelve balls preventing that five ball from going in the side, so you got to do something. Get on back on that five. Put twelve on the side. A shot. A little bumpage. Fourteen all the way up. Then you play the ten. A shot.
the wrong side of the 13 to get on the 8. You must draw back for the 8 in the side. That's all I can see. Got to play it safe here. Got two balls are high behind that five and that eight. Yeah, it was in the move. You want to just play the three. Put the cue ball down in the. Kind of tied the eight up though. Is there no shot on the eight? I played it four up and just break the five, unless the five goes in the side. On a punch, punch draw back, just a touch. Four all the way up. Nice shot, Walter. Splitty practice. Eat in the side. All right. Six five. They're coming back with a vengeance. It's a race to seven. Nice shooting that rack. No, junior week isn't until next week. We had Junior League this past Sunday. So 421 is the next one, 9 a.m. Little Ella was here working out tonight, practicing. Did I have Tiffany's name spelled wrong? T-I-F-F-A-N-I-E. I'm missing the E on her name. Yeah, she loves the game. She's practicing hard. Josh is doing good. He's just work on things that we, we go over in class. He'll get there. He's always got the deer in the headlights look when you give him a, a task to do. It's funny. He's like, you want me to do what? Eleven or eleven. Yep, he's got to learn at his own pace. 
Just push him a little bit every week, a little harder. So he has fun doing it. Need to get some more kids, though. He's cutting it too thin. Yeah, he was cutting it way too thin. Warren Bosch, what's going on, buddy? You didn't go to the expo this year? We broke out the nine. Nine will go on the side. I'm going to try to force that cue ball over to get on that 15. I don't think you can see it. Play a safe off the 14. No, it's not going to go there. I'm going to hit the 7 first if you try that. She did hit the 7 first. Hit the 7 first. One, I came in tonight, it was weird. Wirecast said I was in demo mode. I had to reapply the license for some reason. At first it wouldn't take. Then it took. Then I closed Wirecast, I opened it back up, it wouldn't take again. The license. And it's not taking my login. So I was a little freaked out, but I got it working. Guys, we're on Facebook Live as well as YouTube. So if you go to YouTube, look for Buster's Billiards and go ahead and uh, subscribe. Let's get some viewership going up on uh, YouTube. Some great matches to watch up there. That JP New Tour from this past week was off the chain. We had uh, the Billiard Bombshell. Miss Emily Duddy here playing. We had uh, Ashley Benoit. We had um, Erica Testa. Um, we had a lot of top women shooters here playing this weekend. A lot of good matches that you can watch. Just go to the YouTube and uh, look up the playlist, the JP New Tour. I'll line them up perfect for that 15. You can kind of just punch that in. You'll have the 14 on the side. This could be over. You know, she hits, hits this ball. Yeah, no shot on the 14. Might kick it from behind. Try to kick it cross side. Yeah. I go off the face of the ball.
All right, just play a safe here. You can or just make the seven. Feel you can run out? Play, play the seven. If you can't run out, play a safe. Mm, that's not good. Careful with the scratch here, though. You play that 14 the side. I like playing this with bottom, going out two rails, bottom right. Yeah, bottom right, draw it to the first diamond and spin it out two rails. Bruce Walker. The maestro. How are you, my friend? All right, they got to get out here. They should be able to. A ball all the way up. Buckle down and Nate makes this. He'll win. First set. Bullseye. Oh. There's the diamond for you. He's not too happy with that. I want to cut that on the side, or if I want to just play the seven and get better position on it. Uh oh, I think we put that five and missed it like that. This is for the, the set, the first set. They came back, though. I think it's over. She hits it full in the face and scratches. Seven five. All right, Nate and Tip, Tracy get the first set. All right, this is set number one. Nate and Tracy took that one. You're watching the Friday Night Fights here at Buster's Billiards. And you're watching Walter Barstow, Tiffany Bacon versus Nate McGrath and Tracy McGrath. Join us next week. We're going to have Julio Camu and John Shiner playing. No more than five minutes as we'll lose viewers. They're taking a quick break. Go smoke. You guys want to get on a Friday night fight? Get hold of Steve Sutton on Facebook or contact him. He's booking for the summer. Um, I don't do this during the summers. My son's here. So Steve Sutton will be doing that, and he's looking to fill that summer up. I believe it might even almost be full with a couple of spots open. I'm trying to get it to go every weekend. Uh, he does every other week, but my friend uh, Russ Holmes and Stu Rainey have interest in running Friday Night Fights. So see if we can get things going with those guys. Guys, don't forget to check out Q Pockets. Chris Wiemat. He's great at new items. 
There are Q holders for your Qs. You can hold your um, your joint protectors, your bridge head, your Q extension. You can get it so it holds a cell phone battery charger, so it charges your phone. You can get it with magnetic tops that are interchangeable. So if you have your um, your team logo, you can display different logos on the tops. They're magnetic. You also have this new one called the, uh, it's like a floating shelf. It's called the Deluxe. It's six Qs, three on each side. So make sure you check that out. Hold on one second. All right. And uh, you can scan that QR code. Check out Chris Wiemet's Q Pockets. Learn more about that great product. Also, Mark Dines' New England Nine Ball Series is back in full action. His next event is at Snookers. That'll be next Sunday. I believe it's the 28th is Sunday. That'll be next Sunday at Snookers in Providence, Rhode Island. It's a uh, 700 Max Fargo, $50 entry fee. Doors open at 10, starts at 11. It's limited to 48 players. That'll be next week at uh, Snookers. If you're in the Seacoast area and you need to buy a home or sell a home, Adam Vercotterin, get a home of REMAX Realty 1, 603-957-0067. You can also check out the Red Dragon Billiard Club Trading Center. It's a private uh, billiard club. Get a key card, get 24-hour access. It's also home of the uh, Junior Training Program under Roy Pastor who also has an online course called the AmericanPoolSchool.com where he's training uh, you to become a PBI certified instructor. That's pro professional billiard instructor. Uh, he's one of 26 master level instructors in the world. He's trained and accredited instructors around the world. He's also the creator and lead instructor for the Junior Break and Run program that's a curriculum that supports the junior players across the globe. He has many national champions under his belt. Um, also, he's working with Pool for Change, which is the youth development organization in South Africa that he's been working with that put, they got billiards in the schools there as part of the curriculum, and that's all in the, through Roy. So uh, make sure you're checking that out. Be right back with the rest of the second set. Stand by. All right, here we go, second set. And you guys are watching the Friday Night Fights here at Buster's Billiards. Uh, Nate in uh, Tracy won the first set, seven five. This is the second set, 
eight ball race of seven. A lot of noise. Dry break. Oh, I think he's going to take low ball. Play the one. Just a three goes by on the 12. He's looking maybe playing that. It's tight. I think he's going to play the one. Then the four. Put a one ball, then the four on the side. Yeah, we missed it. All right, open table. And we're going to play the one and the four. It's a lot tied up, though. I don't know. I almost want to play stripes. Let's start off with the four. Nope, oh, still open. So much tied up with low balls, and stripes are spread out more. I think that's why she's going with stripes. Well, it's got the window to see the 15 or not. can see that in the shot. You need to bank the 12 ball. We'll play the 13 all the way up. You can bank the, thir the 12 though. Nice shot. Eleven all the way up. Just don't get stuck behind the three. Didn't leave good, but he made a nice shot. Well, that's ugly. Probably gotta play a three. Not safe. Play off the ten. Put the cue ball down here on the uh, short rail. Not a double hit. Oh, it's she can push through the balls. She's going for the bank. Not that type of bank. She's trying to get it across the corner. A nice attempt. She got the double kiss to the corner though, so that works. Two in the side. Yeah, play that one.
Seven all the way up. Back out center table. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you gotta play the 14 year and draw back for that 13. Draw back for the 13. Just gonna make sure you don't hit the 8 first. Yep, he's good. 13 come around uh, two rails, eight ball in the same pocket. You can even clip off that three. You have to. I hate that song. Wow. That was bad. I think you can see the edge of it. I don't know if he can. If he can, he can just scrape the paint off it. You know, watch the scratch on the side. What'd I say? You know, watch the scratch on the side. Wow. That was unfortunate. You're making some good shots. No, I didn't instant replay that. I don't instant replay scratches. I used to play on that team. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of it. I was trying to read his shirt, the whole thing. I was talking about it. I'm like, I don't remember the name of the shirt, the team. But I used to play on it. I had that jersey. All right, made a ball on the break. He's going to play the 9 or the 1 all the way up. I like the 1 ball. And set up for the 2. Two to the 5 to the 6. Yep, nice straight in on the five, float down for the six. A little bit of top English. You don't want to get flat on the six though, you gotta get you gotta create an angle. If you like to come up. Too much angle. Try cutting it over. Nice shot. That's a good shot.
I'm going to leave him for the 12, but he's got the 10. I'm going to play the 12 and come around for the 15, uh, the 14. Oh, boy. Well, the good thing is they own that pocket. It makes that four ball really difficult to make because this is really the only pocket that would go in. And I can play the three all the way up. Then you're going to have to bank the four. Good opportunity to play that 14, go up table for that 11. Around, yep. A little bit of bottom left. Get an angle on the 11, come straight down table, get on the 10, the center ball. We can go forward two rails. Holy smokes. Rahu, what's going on, buddy? Sutton death. Death, 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 death. Did you make five balls in the break yesterday? I saw something posted somewhere about five balls in the break. What, did your opponent make five balls in the break? That would have been crazy. On a seven-foot table? Oh, I'm a drink. We'll really go swimming. Man, we got to play the four first. Come right up between the 15 and the three. This is going to be a tough shot. And cutting the three is tough, but position of the eight, you got to juice this ball because you can't bank it. Going the drink? No. Float the 10 in, judge your speed, don't get behind the 3, and you got the 15 on the side. We'll go below the 3 and play the 15 on the side. I can't believe she didn't scratch. Let it float over. Oh, my God. I guess they don't want it. They kind of stray here. I think they can go to the rail and come across with the eight in the same pocket. Mm. 
15 all the way up. Gonna go with the safety bank. Makes it with no scratch. Almost got a scratch though. Nice shot. <clears throat> Eight ball in. Puts him up to nothing. Oh, to nothing. Race to seven. All right, rack number three. Try break again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, try break. You need to shoot the nine. Nine on the side. You see, I like setting that up for the 10, playing the 10 down in the corner, then the 15 in the side. So now he's going to play the 11. Or she, I should say, he's going to play the 11 all the way up. Come off the oh, no. Down or 10. We're going to shoot the one here or the six? Play the one. Not even in this atmosphere. A shot. Maybe fourteen all the way up. A little kiss off that three, it would have went.
You took seven, come back cross table for the four. And they keep going low. I see a bank here on the five. The five ball is going to be open on the bank. New shot. Ball the way up. Nice shot. And a good shot. Innings are open again. Safety under the one. I think they can see the 14. Fifteen all the way up. The eight over the eight. Nice shot. Jacked up over the ball. Very nice shot. Good control. I think she's gonna have the four ball too. He's got the four ball. Ball to the rail and back up for the one. Same pocket. Nope. Might, might play in the 12 here. Didn't play the 10. Here's a 10 to come across table between the one and the four. He's playing the 10 now. On the wrong side of the ball to get to the 15. Let's see, play it all the way in the top right. Use a lot of bottom left. But you're still getting that 12 ball so thin that you're not going to pull it over for the 15 on the right side. We'll kind of block the one. Play the one into the 12 and play a safe. Get the cue ball behind the eight. Oh, it's going to get ugly. This is going to get ugly. Especially if that 12 ball is frozen. Can't tell if it's frozen or not. It might be.
That's a good hit. Yeah, it was a good hit. Like sending the four and sending the cue ball back up the table. Are there stripes? And if you even if you can make this ball in the corner, you don't want to because you get no shot on the fifteen. On the pocket. That's what that's what he did. Or she did, excuse me. Try to use the one to make the 12 and send the cue ball back up table. Yep, just like that. Leave my bank. First bank in the 15. Make it you have good position on the 8, but if you you don't you leave them you sell out be best if we could soft roll it and leave the 15 but man it's a tough shot that's what he's trying it rolled out You stun up off the four to the one. I like following this and going underneath the eight and coming out for the eight in the same pocket as the one. Unless it's straight, well, it's so straight, you can just draw back for the eight in the other corner. That's fine. Thought there was more of an angle than that. It's gonna be three nothing. Three nothing. Come on, guys, get out of the doghouse. Come on, guys, like and share and subscribe. We only got 11 viewers. Let's get this thing going. One ball down. Oh, stripes are a lot more spread out than solids. That five seven's not any picnic. Nothing. 
Only shot on the stripe is really going real first at that 13. Or 11, excuse me. No, that's 13. So it's the uh, kind of attack spike playing the two. Two to the four. Even if you make the four, there's no shot. <clears throat> nice shot. Do they have the three? Might be able to bank the three back here. He's looking to cut it right in. Wow. Made it too far. At the seven. What a shot. I don't know if they can jump. Oh, what happened going on? That was weird. Trying to five all the way up. Eight was twelve. Well, fourteen. Erica, how's things going down in Philadelphia? Congratulations on your team winning that um, women's event. Looks like a cool trophy you guys are bringing home. So happy for Crystal, all she's been winning. She works so hard on her game that it's great to see. Ella was here tonight practicing. Before you go to Yale next month, um, I have the whiteboard from um, Brittany's uh, JP New Tour in the stand sitting over here by my stream area. You need to bring that to Yale Billiards. Just play the 12, go to the rail, and come out for the 15. Nope. 
wasn't able to hold it, so he's just going to put a 50 in the side, follow up for the 8 ball back down here in the bottom right, bottom left, excuse me. Now, I like falling right to the rail and coming back out, getting less of an angle on that 8. I don't like that angle. Playing with the side pocket. He's banking it. That five will cut in, I believe. But you gotta make that cue ball travel up and down the table. We do some traveling here. Oh, I was going to drink. Well, it's not an easy cut. See if they can make this and get on the board. I think we're going to see 4 nothing here. All right, 4 nothing. Let's go. Come on. Let's get this thing going. Let's make it a race. Guys, I'll be right back. I'll go grab a drink. Okay, I'm back. Not that anyone miss me, but. Oh boy, another scratch on the break. Anyone sharing the stream? Come on, nine viewers. Tie up my whole Friday night for nine viewers. Oh, there you go. That's a good, that's a good love tap right there. Break out the center cluster. Got an easy shot on the side for the three. So you can use a cue ball to get anywhere you want on the table. Let's see what you're gonna do with that five ball.
putting the six uh, seven aside. Oh, all the way down. It's dry. I didn't think that went. Put nine on the side. Come around three rails. Win the ten. That cut the ten. Wow. How'd it go through all that and scratch? Holy moly. I think the 1013's wired. And yeah, 1013's wired. That would break out the 15. One all the way up. Follow up with a seven. And was it by the fourteen? I'm not sure. Yep, I get the seven. Soft roll the seven in. You get the four in the corner. Problem is that five. What are you gonna do with that five? You gotta break it out off the six. On the wrong side of the ball. You need to be on the other side for the four over here in the corner. Gonna try to bank the six cross side. That's about all I see. I'm going to try banking the six. Open up the old pocket and... Wow. She look at me on the corner right there? Holy crap. She did. 13 all the way up. Wow, what a shot that was. Nice shot, Tracy. Eleven on the side. Playing the combo. That's another good shot. If they're looking at fifteen or not. Looks like they did. Ten to the fifteen. Or ten to the eleven. Nope. More like ten, ten to the eleven. And shoot up the table. And the twelve. Let's come up with a nine on the side. Next time it'll go. Got to play the six. Got nothing else. Got to cut the six on the side. That's a hell of a shot. Almost. If you can make the 11 here, you got to make the 11. 
11 goes. So you got to make the 11 because that's your problem ball. Everything else is wired. Draw to the rail. It's going to be a bit tricky here. Yeah, let's see what happens. She's going to go real first. I think he's got enough to bump it. No, he tries to play it up in the corner. He's going to scratch in the side. He's going to have to kick it in the side coming off the short rail. Short, long. That's what they tried to do. Kick it. Give it some juice. I like that going three rails back down here for the four. Would have been nice to see. I'm going to try banking the eight cross corner. Yeah, banking the eight. What a shot. That's a one pocket shot right there. Bada boom, bada bing, bada ba. Five nothing. That was a fantastic shot. It was right off the diamond. All right, they got five nothing. Let's get them out of the skunk house, guys. All right, here we go. Five nothing. It's a race to seven. Get a ball in the break. Low ball. So I think they can play the uh, five ball all the way up, five to the four. So I think they're going to do is just play the five, stun over for the four. Draw off the four for the do for the deuce.
Well, only thing I can see is they got to make the uh, 13. It's the only shot they got. Didn't leave anything. Didn't leave squat. That's a ball in hand. Three in the side. Shot for the six, follow up for the seven. I wouldn't want to go on the seven and one. I want to be straight in so you can draw back for the two on the side. I'm going to try to come up between the uh, 15 and the 14 here, or 12 and. Let's make that 15. I think that 15 will go. It's a tough shot, but I think it will go in the corner. And then they're going to have to float down for the, uh, try to get the 11 in the side. I don't see much else. Oh boy. Well, we got a ball in hand, so they got to think this out and get through all these problems. They got to play that 10 on the side. I would think. Do 11 on the side. Why wouldn't you play? I'm going to try bumping the 10 here, I think. Wow. That's all I could say about that. Two off the rail. Back to center table for the four.
Moving all the way up. Two on the side. Four on the other side. Four on the side, but they got no shot on the eight. They have to bank the eight. If not for something unnatural with the eight. Tied up that 11 pretty good on the rail, though. Coming all the way down the rail. No shot on the eight. Shot. Try back up the ten. Oh boy. That was brutal. Well, we only got one shot for the eight, and it's all the way up. All the way up. This will put them on the hill if they make this. With a shutout. All right, six nothing. Wow. Guys, don't forget we got the junior league here on Sunday, March. Uh, excuse me, April twenty first, nine a.m. to eleven a.m. So bring your kids down here. We got an hour of instruction, and we do an hour of play. The next session is, like I said, next Sunday, the 21st, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. If you're just joining us, you are watching Walter Barstow and Tiffany Bacon versus Nate and Tracy McGrath. They're playing eight ball race to seven. Uh, Tracy and Nate won the first set, eight, seven, and it looks like they're going to win the second set, eight, nothing. table
little rubbing all the way up. I think you open up the five will go. Takes care of that problem, ball. And then I think I'm not sure if the six passes the twelve or not. Was that the ten? Well, for the 11, just kind of hold it there for the 14. In a natural angle, come back to center table. We've got the angle to come up table off the 11. We get on that 9 ball or the 15. A little bit about 11 o'clock in the cue ball. Slow down. Nice shot. Good shot. Combo over the pocket. Be scratched. All right, they got everything on the table. They just got to get out here. Play that three. Why well, would you play the one? Play the three, then the two, then the one. Side. Careful of the A here. It's not bad. You got to kick at this 12. This is a two railer. Three railer.
They're bowling in. See if they can run four and out. All right, I'm going to try banking the 12 cross side. Bank this cross side. Ooh, almost. Big bounce. Five on the side. That six thin. Playing the four ball here and getting on the three. Float the four all the way up, you'll have the three ball, then the five on the side, come out for the eight. Twelve. What a shot! Use the eight ball straight in. This will win the second set seven zip. Seven zip on the second set. Yikes. Let's see what they're going to do the third set. Stand by. We'll find out. All right, guys, so that's it for tonight. They're only playing two sets. I guess they got to go to Waterville tomorrow to TJ's to play in a tournament. So join us next Friday night. We're going to have Julio and John Shiner playing. We're going to be playing nine ball, race to seven, best two out of three sets. Tonight you were watching Walter Barstow and Tiffany Bacon versus Nate and Tracy McGrath. Uh, they won both sets. Can we get on a Friday night fight? Yep, whole of Steve Sutton, Sutton Death. Um, next one coming up is going to be after Julio. It's going to be Brandon Butler and Andrew Mason. That's going to come up at the end of this month. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Enjoy. We'll talk to you.